GDevelop just finished hosting its third big game jam, which again was the biggest one yet. Almost 1300 developers took part and created a game with the theme Separation. Developers uploaded their games to itch.io and laluo.io, which is now actually called gd.games because people were having trouble saying and spelling it. Actually, in the very first video where I said Laluo, people in the comments were surprised by how it was pronounced. And that probably should have been a sign then that the name should be changed. So now it's gd.games. But let's get to the games. Starting with the top 10 community picks. Developers in this section will get a 6 month gold subscription to gdevelop, and if they're in our discord, they'll get a fancy new role that they can brag about. Starting with the game in 10th place, Satan Separation by Da Frasa Studio, where you play as an angel who's trying to force demons out of humans that have been possessed. Then in 9th is Magnet Dash by Milana Digital, where you're given a series of tools to use on the magnets in the room to get those magnets into their crates. And in 8th place, Door Monster Treasure by Flaburbio, where you place doors, monsters, and bait treasure in order to prevent heroes from getting to your crystal. Then in 7th is Kinder Fighter by Luif, which is a game where you prevent two toddlers from fighting each other by keeping them separated in the room. Then in 6th is Shipperation by Fadat, a game where your ship has the ability to split into two as you fight against endless waves of enemies and bosses to try to get the highest score possible. In 5th, The Cult Blood Sisters by Andre and Willian Holtz, where you and your sister visit an abandoned house and you need to switch between characters to solve mysteries to reach the end together. Then in fourth place is Even Fizzies by Bowties Eight Glasses. You're a mouse that serves drinks for pears, and you have to make sure to split the drink evenly to keep them both happy. In third place is Soul Out by developer David, which is a top-down shooter where you play as a knight that has the ability to separate his soul from his body, which you'll need to do to fight off spirits. And in second place, It's Not You, It's Me by Nut. The game is a short story platformer about the separation of a couple. And the number one community voted game was Sticky Keys by Sparkly Juice Juice. Play as Sticky the Slime as you pick up keys and separate portions of your body to solve puzzles. And now before we get to the judges picks, I wanted to show off some honorable mentions. Games that won't be getting a prize, but were interesting enough that you should go check them out. Starting with Astral Adventure, which is a 3D horror game that uses Pandako's 3D extension, where you're able to walk through doors as a spirit to try and get your physical body out of the situation it's in. Then Miles Apart, which is a story-based zombie game where the developer created 3D assets and imported them into GDevelop. John, I can see the 7-Eleven parking lot across the road, but there's so many zombies between me and the destination. 
Then there was Ice Infection, which I'm adding to the list because it's a beautiful game. Next is Chemisplice, which is a game that reminded me why I failed chemistry class. Then lastly, Snack Bowl Railgun, and I'm adding it to the list because it chose to be absurd and completely committed to the bit. Now to move on to the judges' picks. All of the games in this section will earn some cash and get credit towards the GDevelop goodie store, where they can pick out something for themselves. Personally, I like the mug. But also, depending on where they land in the rankings, they could win some additional prizes from our sponsors. And this time around, we actually have a guest judge. Natalie Lawhead is a Webby Award-winning independent net artist and game designer whose work is in the video game exhibit at the Museum of Modern Art, and they're going to pick their favorite game from the entire jam to give a separate prize to. So before we get to the rest of the ranking, their favorite game was Nine Hole Ninja, which is a game where you play golf with a samurai sword with video spliced in between each round of an evil villain trying to heckle you. But well, let's see how you fare in my golf challenge. Damn it, Harold. I said we could do two of those, but I thought you'd spread them out a bit. Congratulations to Nine Hole Ninja, a game created by Damon Wakes for this game jam and the latest global game jam. <laughs> and now for the final ranking of the judges' picks. In fifth place was Don't Separate and Don't Starve by Nizian, where you balance eating food to keep the penguins from starving or keeping them together so they stay in love. Then in fourth place, Soul Out by developer David. Being forced to go back and forth between the spirit version of yourself and the physical form made for an interesting challenge because whenever you walked away as a spirit, your physical body was a liability. Then in third place, It's Not You, It's Me, by Nut. Just go play the game. It's short and quick and will make you cry. On top of the normal prize, this game wins a goodie bag from Pokey and one entry ticket to a gaming event in 2023. In second place, Sticky Keys by Sparkly Juice Juice. The art is great, the gameplay is solid, and the character is satisfyingly wobbly. This game being in second place gets to be featured on Pokey.com and will be given some Pokey swag. And the number one judge's pick was Spectrum by Kalastrovsk, a minimalist game where you control three characters at the same time, R, G, and B, red, green, blue, and solve color-based platforming puzzles. This game being in first place means they get a copy of Zorin OS Pro, some pokey swag, and to also be featured on Pokey.com. A big thank you to our sponsors, Zorin and Pokey, for contributing prizes for our winners. And thank you to Natalie Lawhead for joining on as a guest judge. But also, thank you to developers, moderators, judges, and community members who hung around and played the games and gave feedback. This jam was another huge success. And we couldn't have done any of it without you. I hope that you enjoyed this game jam and that you keep creating games because next time we might be showing off something you made. <laughs>